morning guys welcome to today i'm off today i want to show you a few things i got this on my birthday i went out at night to get this thing not sure if i'm ever going to use it but i know it'll come in handy one day it's a uh, <coughs> the lift for my tractor some people they use it for the back of their tractor and the three-point hitch to lift logs and drag them out and stuff so Hopefully I'm going to do that, but I'm going to get something exciting today. Well, exciting for me anyways. But I have to clear the back of this truck up first. And these chairs, you know we bought them for, um, for Champs. Uh, because we couldn't find the other chairs that I have there. And they're all sold out. And I hate these chairs because you can't get them wet because these... We had, um, Sophie won a couple chairs a couple years ago, and we left it out in the rain, and I'll show you what it looks like. Sophie won these chairs last year. She won champion and reserve champion chair, and this is the reserve champion chair. Champion chair is red, and this is why I don't like them. They're like pieces of wood, and you leave it out in the rain, and it's no good. So in order for those to last, you gotta hide them inside somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take those out before it rains. Put them away for next year. Whether we use that champs or not, I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. I ordered uh, curtains for the stalls this time. I ordered from the States and you had to buy these hangers for them, so I bought these hangers and they had to email me and talk to me about freight charges and I said, okay, yeah, $90 seems about right for freight charges, so send it to me. And I got it yesterday and all I got was hangers, no curtains. And I emailed them back, I said, you know what, cancel my order for, hanger, for, for curtains because if I'm paying $90 for $50 worth of hangers, I can't imagine how much it's going to cost me for you to deliver curtains when you can deliver it by United States Postal Service way cheaper than that. That's what I'm getting. Straw. I'm getting straw, guys. Yep, that's what I got. Straw. I got straw for my wagon ride. I'm going to set that out. I like going and looking around at different people's farms and stuff because get to meet new people I haven't like uh, met a lot of people with this pandemic happening but I've been going around now recently meeting people around or local this person wasn't really local but it's kind of hard to find straw believe it or not so but anyways I got straw now and we're gonna put on the wagon and yeah should be exciting get our wagon ride on we might do a wagon ride this weekend I think the grandkids are coming who knows Gabby will be, uh, whoa, pretty dark, pretty bright, pretty bright, a little bit better. Anyways, see the straw back there, it's loaded up. Uh, anyways, the grandkids are coming this weekend, I think, so hopefully Gabby can hone her driving skills and drive the tractor and do some wagon rides, so that's the plan. And uh, we also, we're going to also do wagon rides for Thanksgiving so there it is got the wagon set up people can sit in the front or the side the only thing about these straw bales is what I didn't realize when I went there I said I was gonna buy it I should always check to make sure they're like tightly packed some of these they're not tightly packed some are nice they're not as tightly packed as I would want them to be. But anyways, yep, that's it. That's my straw. That's my wagon. And that's for our wagon ride. This is how we cut the grass. No. I don't know if you could tell, but this is a lot of core muscle that I don't have. <laughs> yeah, sitting. Sitting. Oh, I see. Yeah, Hold yeah, yourself up. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. 
It is not morning. It is like one o'clock in the afternoon. We just finished homeschool. It's like a lot. Well, we did that. Sam brought the tractor down. Look at this. What do you guys see missing? Look how gorgeous it looks. Not back there. Don't look back there. I gotta get my lawnmower out here and cut all that, all those bushes. Otherwise, we'll end up with trees in our paddock. I better do that right now. See, there's poop. No poop. So Sam and I are gonna figure that out and get that section done. Maybe I'll do it right now. Oh, Grace. Oh, Gracie. You need help bringing that out? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Sophie was right the other day. Penny does eat leaves. There's a few leaves here. Don't eat leaves. Oak leaves are poisonous. Did you guys know? Sam's over there scrubbing the water troughs. Farm life, you guys. What I was saying is that homeschool is like, it takes up a lot of your time, especially at the beginning of the year. You end up doing a lot of things. And so Gabby does uh, the online high school through she our- She's a smarty pie. She just walks through it. Through our government. And I love the program. It's really nice. She's just doing math right now. She'll do one a month for the next four months. Well, she'll do one a month until school is finished. And she's doing math right now and she's nailing it. Mostly all stuff she's done before, just kind of um, expanding on the things that she's done before. She's liking it, but I still do have to teach her. So every time she enters a new concept and she has problems, I help her and I teach her. And then I still have Sophie and then I still have cleaning the house and I have laundry and I have other work like YouTube and I have like, there's just a lot. And uh, June cannot come fast enough <laughs> for us to finish again, but it's fun. I love school. I love homeschool. I love all that stuff. So it's working out really well for us. Just that it takes a long time. So our days are... So our horse stuff starts later and then, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she just walked into my hand. I went like that. I'm sorry, little mini. Well, just like last time I walked through the hoop all I'm by sorry. myself, I got, got a tree. okay. I, I, that was an accident. She's such a loving little girl now. I don't want her to think that I'll just smack her by mistake. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We are doing something different today. We're going to the other barn to uh, take care of Chino. If that's what our days consist of when you have horses. It's always taking care of horses. So the thing that Sophie's adding to our um, obstacles today is that she wants the horses to stop and put their feet up on this. You're going to have to show her. Poor Gracie, she's always in the way. Come on over here and sit with me, Gracie. Come sit with me, yeah. You're such a pretty girl. Yeah, give her a treat now. Good girl. We need, oops, we need to get Penny's ball. Sylvie wants to just buy, so what do we need? Just a big piece of wood? It's like a stool. A little stool? All right. Yeah, that your horse and we still need a bridge. Stool and a bridge. Show Penny her ball. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Something about you I like. About you I like. Yeah, she does everything. She's our super pony. We literally just do like, she literally picks it up so fast. Yeah, she's such a love. You're such a love. Penny's about to walk through that. And then I said, oh, good girl, too soon. Without a halter. Should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you. Settle down, that'd be many nights 
shots, I got too high and almost left town But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us, gotta say It's just Gabby and I. I brought two apples because you guys know Chip. You guys know that Finney's having the time off, so I'm gonna just go out there and find him and give him an apple so that he thinks we love him only. And of course, not a not a horse in sight. All right, Gabby, where are they? Take your pick, over there or over there. All right, we're gonna see. So it's almost fall, and seriously, no trees are turned yet. Yeah, like random leaves. We don't see any horses out there, so I don't think we don't think they're there. Is Dad leaving? No, my money's in his in his car. There. But literally, though, woods are so creepy. You guys can't see because the camera makes it look bright, but it actually looks dark and dreary. But I'm glad our horses get to live here. So. In summer, when he got all light, I couldn't tell which one he was. I know. And oh, I see him. I see horses anyway. They're definitely in the field that we just passed. Gabby's gonna have to jump the fence. I'll show you. All right, do you guys see? Through the trees, all those bodies. Gabby, climb. You're climbing, sister. One of those horses is Chino. I can tell because they're all the same color. But wait, where's Finn? Oh, is that Chino right there? No. Nope. Chino's looking at her. We're actually supposed to be already ready. So get moving. Oh, I see Finn. If that fence is not stable enough, we'll... It's not stable. Hurry up, get over. Oh my God. Don't fall. Well, I'm Ow. Oh no. There's thorns. And there's Finn. Look. Oh, you guys can see. Through there, through the woods, is one Palomino horse staring at the fence. Here, Gabby, I have an apple for Finn. Almost died <laughs> on the fence as on the thorn plant. Almost died on the fence and the thorn plant. You the want one? The reason why I didn't die is because I'm like... The little one is for Finny because... 110 pounds, which is less than I should weigh for my height. Okay, get moving. So, somehow I survived that. Look at Finn. Oh, He's like... Oh my gosh, we're never getting done. See him? Oh no. And he's pooping. He's like, oh no, they're coming for me. I know it's for me. See, that's what I want to get rid of. I want Finny to be excited again when he sees us and come to us and like Storm does. Oh, it's an apple, Finn. It's an apple. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Look. Oh. Don't chase him. <laughs> she threw the apple and some horse tried to eat it. <laughs> Give it to Chino! Give one to Chino! Oh, there we go. There, he figured it out. Crap, I'm attacked. I got attacked by bushes. Hello, Chino! You're getting a massage, my man. Right, so Chino had his... Did he always drag behind like that? And, no. So Chino had his massage. Can you think of that guy? Did he always drag behind? No. Never. Never. Yeah, he's really dragging it. So that's the side I told you was sore. Yeah. So he had a massage. We're still waiting for Cairo, but the Cairo can't come right away. So we did the massage to try and like give him some, some pain relief. Yeah, before he didn't pick his leg up at all. So, but yeah. No, never. All right, so she did it and he really 
he really seemed to like loosen up and and get a lot better still dragging his foot so chiropractor still needs to come it's okay he's doing better and if i need to get the massage lady back again before then then that's what we'll do because but he's doing well like he's doing a lot better a lot better all right so tick tock honey challenge <laughs> honey challenge so sophie did the tick tock honey you waste a lot of honey you're not eating all of that. Holy heck. But anyways, you put honey in a water bottle and you freeze it. And then you squish it. And you eat eat it. Okay, no more. No more. That was a miracle. What? What's a miracle? Gabby likes it. Ow. <laughs> it hurts my teeth. I it off. I tried to bite it, but mm. I have really sensitive teeth. Here. No. Ah. I can't even chew it. It's disgusting. Jump it up. It's a 20 year old taller than me. We met a girl. She's Normally 20. Normally people older than me from like after you were born, when you were in your like 30s, when they were born, they were all really short. That was like the shorter era. And nowadays kids are getting taller and taller. Do you think? Yes. I have no idea what Gabby just said, but yeah, that. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the